me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. Every single movement, it's been youth that's been leading it. So it's our time it's to actually make sure our candidates are accountable to us. We demand that we have a liberal future. Young we people need to understand we can strike and we can continue to strike, but we have to go to the polls and actually make sure that we're making our voices heard. There's a problem with the fact that adults aren't doing anything. Our future has been abandoned. If you aren't going to save for our future, we're going to protect it ourselves. My name is Jerome Foster II. I am the founder and executive director of One Million of Us, which is mobilizing young people to vote all around the country for the 2020 election. And we want you to make sure that you elect and vote people that will take action and will make sure that climate is first on their priority for 2020 and the decade that we have left to tackle climate change. If young people vote, they can change history. There's no doubt in my mind. They participate at a lot lower levels. There's huge untapped potential for change. I want to ask what timeline or immediate action you guys are planning on having after this conference that us young people at this table and us young people all around behind you can support in the work that you guys are doing. I just want to hear the plan that you guys have. We have to um, flip the Senate, the Democrat, hold on to the House, and get rid of Donald Trump. What time is it? Zero hours! What time is it? Zero hours! We're mobilizing around climate change, gun violence, immigration reform, gender equality, and racial equality. And that's why we're building these bonds with you and um, Senator Markey to make sure that we are as strong as possible to build this movement and empower so many young people across the country. You're absolutely right. Unity is important uh, and focused purpose. <laughs> can't be too scared to step out of our comfort zone. That's exactly what we need to do to affect change. Voting is the only way to ensure that your concerns matter. Period. <laughs> so when you don't vote, what you're really doing is letting somebody else take power over your own life. Right now, every single politician is quaking in their seats because we're showing them what real action looks like. We're showing them what the people look like. We're not going anywhere. We're planting ourselves on the ground and saying enough is enough.